guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kate Torgo. I always more sims here on YouTube and today we are doing another speed build. So I have like a bunch a bunch of stress right now because um I I thought I was ahead. I was like, I'm doing so well. I'm gonna start early on building houses for like my kids and my saves, and now I'm behind because like it's just been one kid after another. And when I have two saves where the kids are like the same age, but I do like one speed build roughly every like week and a half or so, um, it gets like crazy. So I am now behind. Um, this house I built for my Sim Lindy in my Disney Likes You Challenge. Uh, so this is her house. It is a three bedroom, two bathroom house. There is a nursery, there is an office, there is a garage, there's a laundry room, there's a pool, uh, there's a garden. Uh, I actually quite like how this house turned out. I did spend two and a half hours on it and I feel like it's kind of a small house for me to have spent that much time on it. But um, the computer, I don't know if the, like, the recording really picks it up because it's so sped up. Um, but the computer was like stuttering when I would like try to like rotate the screen too fast. Again, I don't, I'm not sure that the recording will pick it up, especially going at well, like going at this speed. If it was normal speed, you would see it like no problem. But going this fast, I don't know if it'll if you'll see it. Um, but I could I could actually hear the computer stutter. And then I would like, I was waiting for like, if the computer stopped making like a stuttering, like the air sound would like stutter. I'm like, when that was done, then the game would like continue at like normal speed, at, like normal pace, like would stop stuttering. But it was really annoying uh, when I was trying to color the house. So it got better once I got inside, but still if I was like spinning too fast, then the game would like, was like, hold on, stop. So, this house is called Gingham Gardens. Now, I call it Gingham Gardens because, okay, one, like I said, there is a garden in the back. Even though Lindy does not garden, and I don't think Lumiere gardens either. Uh, I just didn't really know what else to put back there, and I thought, hey, why not put a garden at something different? Gingham is because there's a lot, I use, like, in the house, like, everywhere. There's this, like, very, like, it's, I don't, it's not in your face, but I wouldn't necessarily call it subtle either. There's this blue plaid, and I am not the biggest fan of the scent from Bath & Body Works called Gingham, but their whole branding for this scent is blue plaid. And so, when I was trying to think of a name for this house, I was like, I was gonna originally call it Sage Springs, but I just felt like the springs just didn't work because there were no fountains or anything like that that would make you think like either season spring or like a spring of water. So I was like, I don't really don't want to call it Sage Spring. It's another greenhouse. I feel like I built quite a f I build quite a few greenhouses, um, houses that are green, not like plant greenhouses. So I really didn't want to call it Sage Spring. Or Sage Springs. So I was trying to think, and I'm, of course I have to have my alliteration. I almost always have the houses, you know, because they normally have two letters to the name, like, or two words to the name. I almost always have them start with the same letter, because the alliteration makes my, my brain happy. Um, well, when I was like, well, wait, I was trying to think of, like, t like, things about the house that, like are very consistent, are used a lot. I was like, what? Wait, gingham. There's that blue plaid everywhere. The Bath and Body Works scent gingham is blue plaid. Like, oh my gosh, I can call it gingham gardens and I can get my alliteration in there. And so the house is called gingham gardens. Um, I will say I forgot to like put a bunch of stuff in the house. Um, so I did go ahead and decorate the room, like the kids rooms, cause I was feeling like it. Um, Lindy is going to have a little boy, and she's going to have a little girl, and, um, yeah, so I decorated the little boy's room, I decorated the little girl's room, I tried to make the nursery kind of gender neutral since both of them will be in it at some point, um, 
but I just lost my oh yeah <laughs> so the little girls room there's like a desk and I forgot to put a desk chair and then like in the dining area that I left like a big spot for like a china cabinet kind of thing and then I forget I forgot to put down the china cabinet I forgot to um do like put the ladder and the diving board on the pool and I forgot to put like a grill and stuff outside on the back patio like I just forgot to do a bunch of things so it isn't recorded but I did go back in and place them and I did ex uh, I did re-export the save which I try I normally don't do because it takes so long but I, I did it this time because I'm like I just left out way too many things I have to fix this um, I also did put things in the house for more likely a dog just because I didn't put like scratching posts or litter boxes or anything but you could po probably put a cat like put cat stuff in here um, let's see what else there's also a, a chess table in the living room and I'm not sure that the chess table is actually usable I'm actually almost 100% sure that it isn't um, because when I try to move objects off and I try to like put the table like the chess table back in the corner um, it doesn't let me place it um, so more than likely the chess table is not usable but if you really wanted you could probably take away one of the chairs like if you only have it for your sim to like practice the logic skill or whatever you could probably take away one of the chairs and just put it flush to the wall so they could practice playing they just wouldn't be able to play with another sim um yeah I don't really know what else to say um so this this house is going up obviously today originally I was supposed to be building Henry's house so in my fig challenge um my second born um I was originally going to build his house today because I thought he would become a young adult before Lindy did but Lindy actually beat him to being a young adult so I did her house first however um when oh yes not yesterday Wednesday's part of Feig um Henry or maybe it was no actually I think it was um was it last Friday's part of my Feig challenge I didn't I'm met, I'm confusing myself. Okay, so I thought I said Wednesday. Okay, one Wednesday is Disney Legacy. That's not Feig Challenge. Um, I meant to say Monday, but I think Henry actually aged up last Friday. But I don't move the kids out until they're married. Um, and I got him married in Monday's part. Um, so I'm gonna build Henry's house more than likely tomorrow and move him out and everybody's just gonna have to wait also that driveway next door is atrocious I hate that <laughs> I hate doing curved driveways in this game do not like it uh, it looks so bad I never know how to make the curved driveways look nice cuz and I can't do it I just can't they always look bad um, let's not look, focus on that anymore though <laughs> but yeah Henry's going to move out like Henry um, is going to move out. I don't have his house built yet. I don't have the speed build for the house yet. Speed build is going to go up, like, next Saturday, I think. If I'm remembering right. Possibly. I don't know. Um. <laughs> oh, goodness. Um. Let's see what else. So, my dog, Annie. It will, okay, let me start. Let me backtrack. So, a couple months ago, I think it was like October, my dog Ellie went to the vet and we found out she had bladder stones. She had surgery, had them removed, but like her whole bladder was just like full of bladder stones. So, um, it is that time of year for like all the dogs to get like their yearly shots and I went to take my dog Annie to the vet and Annie cannot get in the car by herself, uh, like the jump is, like even for being a very, a car that sits pretty low to the ground, she still can't make it, like Annie is not coordinated in the slightest. So I have to pick her up to put her in the car. Uh, well, 
The last time I took her to the gr- to get groomed, I had to pick her up to put her in the car, and she peed everywhere. She peed, like, all down my leg, all over my shoes, pee all over the car, and it really smelled. Like, I could smell where the pee had been on my, um, on my floor mat, and I had to, like, take it out of the car and, like, hose it off, because it smelled so bad. Didn't really think anything of it. I just thought maybe it was one of those things that, like, I hadn't noticed it. And, like, just the fact that, like, the pee had just kind of sat for, like, maybe, like, half an hour, 45 minutes while I was running dogs all over the place. I'd gotten no- I'd become nose blind to it while riding in the car. I was just like, okay, it's probably just because it sat for a while. Uh, which sounds disgusting. (laughs) But when I went to take her, like, to load her into the car to go to the vet this past week, once again, she peed everywhere. And this time, she got it, like, all over my seats and- Um, My back seat is, like, practically non-existent because I drive a two-door and, like, they don't- I don't even know if they make floor mats for the back of my car, for the back seat, and it's not like I actually- I have way more dogs riding in my back seat than I've ever had people, so I just never really bothered to even, like, look into it, but my- like, the floorboards in the back are, like, almost like a carpet. They're, they're, they're not leather and they're not like a hard plastic. Um, they are some kind of fabric and she rides in the back seat. So like I felt, I like fold my, like the passenger side front seat. I fold that down to be able to put dogs in the back and I like scoot it forward because I refuse to, I hate messing with my seat because I can never get it back to where I like it. So I always mess with the passenger side door because, or the, yeah, the passenger side seat because I don't care what that one's like. That one's moved all the time. Well, she peed all over the seat, all over the door sill, all over, like, the floor of the car. She got it all over me, um, and it smelled so bad. And at first... I, like, I knew she had peed, but I wondered if she had, like, recently, like, managed to express her own anal glands, <laughs> and if you've ever had a dog, or if you've ever, like, maybe worked at a groom shop, or at a vet, um, a vet office or something, or if you've ever just been around when your dog has had their anal glands expressed, it smells horrible. Oh my god, it's one of the worst smells ever, and that's kind of what it smelled like. But, like, not as strong. But I could still smell it. I'm like, what? It? Why does it smell like that? Why does her pee smell like that? Why does it sound that bad? And why did she pee when I picked her up? This is the second time it's happened. She's never been known to pee when she's nervous. Like, that's not something Annie does. That's what Ellie and Chloe do. That's not Annie. So, now I'm like, well, I picked her up around her stomach. And, like, I kind of had to squeeze to pick her up. And that's when she peed, was when I squeezed, when I applied pressure. And I'm like, oh, crap. Tell me she doesn't have bladder stones. Tell me this is not, like, I just had a dog with bladder stones like a handful of months ago. Tell me I don't have another one. Well, I take her to the vet. It's the same vet who looked at Ellie, did Ellie's uh, surgery, her procedure, and I walked in and just kind of joking, I'm like, hey, might have another dog with bladder stones. Like, I was kind of hoping, I pretty much jinxed myself. I was kind of hoping that it wasn't the case. And he just kind of looks at me and he like, he's like, okay, let's go look. So I had Annie, Chloe, and Zoe. They were all getting their shots. Take Chloe into one of the like exam rooms, or not Chloe, take Annie, we'll take all three of them into one of the exam rooms and we put Annie up on the table. She's the first to go. And he starts like feeling around and then he, he just like stops and he looks at me and he goes, you really shouldn't have said anything. And I'm like, why? She has them? He's like, I'm gonna go take x-rays to be sure, but more than likely, yeah. I'm like, ah, crap. (laughs) So he goes, he takes x-rays, he, like, comes and gets me to show me the x-rays, her bladder is full of stones, and I'm just like, I feel like such a bad, like, pet owner, like, not having noticed, but we're pretty sure Annie is, like, inbred, pretty sure that, like, mom and dad are brother, sister, cousins, um, like, sister and brother-in-laws and grandparents, like, all at the same time. Like, all somehow, like, related at the same time. Uh, because Annie is, 
not the brightest bulb in the box. Uh, you call her name, she runs in the opposite direction. And for years, Annie, like, will let the dogs out, like, maybe four or five times a day. Annie only actually goes, like, gets off the deck and goes down into the yard maybe two times. So we've never thought anything of it. Um, we never really picked up on any, like, different like any different behaviors when she goes to the bathroom because again she only goes like two out of five times what is there to really notice because when she goes down she seems to do like do fine when she goes to the bathroom so i'm like great this is second dog you know the last six months to have had bladder stones they probably think we're like neglecting our dogs i feel like that's what i look like that i neglect my dogs i'm afraid that's how it sounds that i neglect my dogs so he keeps her overnight does her procedure she's back like everything's fine now but i'm just like oh my gosh <laughs> i'm such a bad pet parent oh my goodness so, that's been going on. Um, my mom just had surgery today, actually earlier this morning. Um, she had an infection and um, it was making her quite sick and so she had to have surgery. So, <laughs> everything went fine. She's all good. She's been like sleeping all day. But that's been stressful. Um, school starts for me in a week, which I really don't want to happen. Um, not ready to go back to school at all. Um, this should be an interesting, interesting semester. What else? What else? What else? I should have my computer really soon. I'm hoping by the next speed build, actually, that I have the new computer. Which means I can bring back the gaming channel. Means hopefully my game runs smoother. Um... Like, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Um, so there's that. What else? Let's talk about Encanto. <laughs> Just because I don't know what else to talk about. Um, I've been seeing Encanto everywhere. I've seen the movie once. All the way through. And I've watched bits and pieces of it a second time. Personally, I don't like the movie. But I really like most of the music. A majority of the music. Like, I really like the first song, like, Family Magical. Um, I really like Surface Pressure. And We Don't Talk About Bruno. I feel like everybody loves We Don't Talk About Bruno. It's everywhere. But I honestly felt the movie was really lacking. I thought the plot was kind of awful. <laughs> um, like, when I was watching it through the first time, like... Towards the end, like, when... I'm trying not to spoil it too much, but, like, when Abuela and, like, um, Mirabel are, like, talking things out, basically, and, like, understanding where each other is coming from and stuff, I was like, this... wait. Like, actually, right before that, right before Abuela found Mirabel, I thought, oh, this is, like, when Mirabel's gonna go off on, like, some awesome adventure and, like, rekindle the magic and, like make the family stronger and then it doesn't happen and I tapped on the movie I'm like I've been watching this for a while how much like how long is this movie I'm like I, only, I saw I only had like 20 minutes left I'm like oh she does not go off on some epic adventure to rekindle the magic does she um and I felt like the plot was just really lacking um I can't stand Abuela's character uh I would gladly punt her into the next dimension um I love I like I love Peppa's side of the family. Um, I adore Camilo and Dolores is my favorite. Uh, I love Felix. We had some of the best Disney dads in that movie. I love Felix and Augustine. Um, I thought Mirabelle got kind of annoying at some points. I don't really like her song Waiting on a Miracle, I think is what it's called. Um, not a fan of that song. Isabella's song is kind of a hit and miss. Like, I don't know. I just feel like it's really overhyped. And I guess people are wanting a second movie, but I don't really know what you would make a second movie out of. I don't think there was enough in the first movie to warrant a second movie. Um, maybe that's just me. Like, I have no issue jamming out to the soundtrack of this movie. But if I were asked, would you rather watch, like, Encanto or... Um, I don't know. Um... <laughs> 
rather watch like Encanto or like Tangled. Oh, I'd rather watch Tangled. Like there are a lot of movies I'd much rather watch than Encanto. Um, I felt like the pacing was kind of off for Encanto too. I don't know. I just kept expecting it to like pick up and then it wouldn't and then it would and I was like, what is going on? So I don't know. Unpopular opinion, but I was not the biggest fan of Encanto. Um, and don't see myself watching it again all the way through in any time in the near future. But hey, look, we've reached the screenshots. So the screenshots, oh, um, <laughs> the screenshots include everything that was supposed to be in the house and I just forgot to actually put in while I was recording. So I went back through, did all that. All the stuff I added is down in the, well, it's in the link that is included down in the description. I have a whole bunch of stuff down there. If you could go check it out, I'd really appreciate it. Uh, I'm going to wrap it up here. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys all in my next video. Bye guys.